and welcome to Lagos Updates on Lagos Traffic Radio, 96.1 FM. This program highlights the activities of the Lagos State Governor and other state events. I'm Adiola Akindele. In the highlights of the program today, Lagos State Governor signs 137.3 billion Naira fund to finance key infrastructural projects in transportation, environment, health sectors. This and more after this timeout. We'll begin today with this story. Lagos State Governor Babajide Songulu has signed 137.3 billion Naira 13% 10-year bond to finance key infrastructural projects in transportation, environment and health. Speaking on Monday at the Lagos House, Ikeja, Governor Sangwolu said this was in line with the vision of a greater Lagos and the proceeds would be used to finance far-reaching infrastructural projects that are visible, impactful, cost-effective, make life comfortable for residents and protect lives and property. We will continue to uphold our commitment to remain the most responsible issuer in the Nigerian capital market. For us, it's continue to raise the bar. For us, it's continue to live within the tenet of our promise to our citizens. And for us, it's continue to ensure that our Greater Lagos agenda is on track. These projects include the 10-kilometer Lekki Regional Road, six-lane Eleko to Ekwe Highway, Lagos Padagri Expressway, Ijedude Road in Alimosho, Obasekumadi Road in Ikurudu, Demuri, Kushofe, Sholu Yishomulu, Iwaya, drainage flooding issues around the state. <music> On Monday, Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwulu says the goal and intent of setting up the spelling bee competition in which winner acts as one-day governor in the state is being achieved. Governor Babajide Sonwulu stated this on Monday when the winner of this year's competition, Gemina Marcus of Angus Memorial Senior High School, Shomulu, and her team joined the weekly State Executive Council meeting at the Exco Chambers at the Lagos House, Ikeja. The organizers will also still be monitoring you and be following up on your future endeavors to ensure that indeed you attain the right leadership skill that can make you a better person tomorrow. Governor Sonwulu, who promised to look into the request made by the one-day governor, urged her and her team to continue to make the state and their parents proud. Responding to a memo raised by the one-day governor on Lagos' response to COVID-19 pandemic, the Commissioner for Health, Akin Abayomi, said the state is already recording a steady increase in positivity rate in the new Omicron variant as 26 out of 100 tests conducted on Lagosians come out positive. The one-day governor, Gemina Marcos, who advised the state's government to continue with its COVID-19 mitigating plans, commended Governor Sonwulu and his team for their efforts in combating the virus. Mr. Governor, sir, I'm immensely grateful to you, sir, for this privilege. I strongly believe in the wonderful leader you are, sir, and I love the formidability of you and Mr. Deputy Governor. Thank you once again, sir. God bless Lagos State. She also lauded the administration for its many developmental projects and solicited continued welfare of teachers and provision of school infrastructure. I just asserting of Topo Senior Grammar School, Padagri, and Ede Rema of Denton Junior Grammar School, Oyingbo, who won first and second places, as well as their parents, were also at the Lagos Special Exco meeting. <music> Also on Monday, residents around Sholi, Alakwere, Ifako, and Bagada in Kushofe local government area of Lagos State heaved a sigh of relief from incessant traffic caused by bad roads as Governor Babajide Sonwulu inaugurated Network of Nine Roads with a bridge for smooth mobility. Governor Sonwulu stated that the roads would serve a population of over 300,000 people within the communities 
urged Labour to take full responsibility of the roads, promising his administration's commitment towards delivering the dividends of democracy to residents of the state. It's not just to build. Population have shown that this committee alone has over 250,000, almost 300,000. So we cannot leave you. And I'm happy even when I was coming in that indeed the connection is real and you can feel the impact. The impact is that your committee from different parts of Lagos will have been reduced by not less than one hour. Governor Sonwul also expressed commitments to the completion of all ongoing road projects in Kushofe. He also announced that work would commence in January on the construction of Okwebi Ojota Link Bridge. On Tuesday, Lagos State Governor Papajide Sonwulu described community development associations as engine of governance as they are the closest to the grassroots. Hence, the need for them to continue to complement government's efforts at providing people-oriented projects in their communities. Governor Papajide Sonwulu stated this at this year's Lagos Community Day celebration held at the police college Ikeja. The governor who noted that within the last one year, additional 75 CDAs were registered, making a total of 4,100 CDAs across the state, called on them to support his administration for more developmental projects. Governor Sonwulu also appealed to market men and women to desist from leaving combustible products in their shops after closing due to the harsh weather to avoid fire outbreak. Because of the harsh weather in Amatan, fire is always a very easy thing that can. So people need to live safe. Security, they say, is local. Security is grass. If you notice things that are not meant to be in your community, please raise it up. As we're going into the yield tight seasons, please let's be very vigilant and let's make sure that we are brothers keeper. In his address, Commissioner for Local Government and Community Affairs, Wale Ahmed, said the Community Day celebration was to emphasize and amplify the necessity of development as a strategic factor for socio-economic development and empowerment at the grassroots. The theme of this year's celebration is consolidating the ongoing development in our various communities for the best four CDEs, winning four 18-seater buses with cash prizes. In the rural category, Okie Gon CDA in Olorunda came first, while Oluwani Shola CDA in a radio local council development area of the state clinched the second position. In the urban category, Harmony CDA in Agbado Kyodo LCD came first, while Elekwe Royal Estate CDA in Ikurudu came second. <music> Lagos State Government under Governor Papajide Sonwulu's administration has planted 60,000 trees across different locations in the state. Speaking at tree planting event on Tuesday in Ikuyi, Governor Papajide Sonwulu said since 2008, over 8 million trees have been planted by the Lagos State Government. Governor Sawolu recommended the recent initiative by the Gupta family to plant 1,000 trees this December as part of efforts to save the environment, urged other residents of the state and private organizations, corporate bodies to join government by embracing moves to preserve the environment. And I want to ask on everyone, to in your own space, you know, try and push and encourage laudable initiatives like this so that we can preserve our Lagos, we can preserve a place where we all call home, and we can indeed ensure that that future that is in the hands of the teenagers that are here today is secured. On behalf of Gupta family, Maika Gupta of African Steel Evergreen Projects, who has taken keen interest in Lagos studying its environment believes in efforts to achieve a greener and sustainable environment is the target to plant 1,000 trees across different locations in the state. On Friday, 17th December, 
the tree planting started with 195 planted already, while Governor Babajide Sonwulu and four others planted five trees to bring the total planted so far to 200. <music> Away from that story, Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwulu on Wednesday premised that his administration will continue to use sports as a rallying point to project the tourism potential of the state. Governor Sonwulu stated this when he received the 2022 Nigerian University's Games Nougat Touch of Unity at Lagos House Marina, presented by a delegation led by the Vice Chancellor of the University of Lagos, Unilag. Tony Ogundipe, a host of the Games, while congratulating the management of Unilag for getting the hosting rights of the sporting event, Governor Sonwulu urges them to use the platform to discuss more about what unites Nigeria and ways of bringing peace and building the nation. Talk about building the future, it's not now. Talk about building a resilient country and a city that supports all the future of the youth and start. So it builds into our own deliverables, not only on the countryside, but also you know, on the social development outside. Governor Sonwulu said his administration will also continue to provide an enabling environment to utilize the tourism potential in Lagos and build future leaders, promising that the state would support the event. Earlier, Unilag Vice Chancellor Tony Ogundikpe said the Nuga Games would further bring about unity and togetherness as over 10,000 students and youths are set to participate in the event. We are expecting the Ministry of College to assist us in that area. The senior students and physics so that they will know that it's not just coming from only sports, they can feel the state. And we have other things that we are getting about sir. And uh, I want to say that the rest of the world, as I predict, in the area of the South, uh, is the best country. The Nigerian University's Games is scheduled to hold from the 16th to 26th of March next year. From that story, we move to this one, which says Lagos State Government is not resting on its oars with its Security Trust Fund's vision of making the state the most secure and prosperous commercial nerve center in Africa. Governor Babajide Sonwulu stated this on Wednesday at the 15th annual town hall meeting on security with the governor, themed Reconceptualizing Safety and Security in Lagos State at the Civic Center, Victoria Island. Governor Sonwulu noted that the focus of his administration is on programs policies and projects targeted at socio-economic development, creation of job opportunities, prosperity and the sustenance of hope in the arts and lives of people in the state. Earlier, Chairman Lagos State Security Trust Fund Board, LSSTF of Trustees, Kendi Jurosimi Eti, who saluted the commitment of security agents for optimally carrying out their duties stated that the fund will continue to play a pivotal role in strengthening the security architecture of the state through partnership and development. Given an account of the fund in the last one year, Executive Secretary, CEO, LSSTF, Abdul Razak Balogun, said the fund with the Lagos State Government, the local governments, local council development areas, private sector organizations, and individuals have been able to provide 183 vehicles fully fitted with communication and security accessories, 200 motorbikes, 8 armored personnel carriers, 2 water cannons, 167 push-to-talk on cellular communication devices, among others to security agencies. <music> On his part, Commissioner of Police in Lagos State, Hakim Udumusu, confirmed that in the last one year, cases of crime have reduced in the state with the efforts of all security agencies in the state. Udumusu, who appreciated the Lagos State government for its support, also called on the general public to support the fight against crime and cultism. Mm -hmm. 
And finally, on the program today, 1,768 beneficiaries of the World Bank Assisted Agro-Processing Productivity Enhancement and Livelihood Improvement Support Appeals Project in Lagos State have received checks worth 3.6 billion naira to enhance food security. Governor Papajidi Sonwulu, who handed the checks to the beneficiaries in Ikeja, urged them to hit the ground running and justify the investment in which 10% is earmarked to people living with disabilities. Because it's small that we should not be a farm state, as a farming state. We need to prove them wrong. Yes, it's true that we're the tiniest state in the country. Yes, it's true that we don't have the landmass that other states has. Yes, it's true that we're the major city, we're the melting point, we're the economic nerve center of the country. But we also want to be an agricultural footprint of the nation. Governor Sawolu hinted that plants are underway to tend Badagri, Ekpe, Ikurdu areas of the state to major food markets of the state. Commissioner for Agriculture Abiola Olusonya stated that the program in conjunction with the federal government and the World Bank to Lagos State is aimed at enhancing productivity in aquaculture, poultry and rice value chain. <music> And with that story, we conclude this week's edition of Lagos Update, a program that highlights the activities of the Lagos State Governor and other state events. You can listen to Lagos Traffic Radio on our website www.trafficradio961.ng and follow us on our various social media platforms, Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961, Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. On YouTube, subscribe to our channel, Lagos Traffic 961. You can download our app, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM from Play Store for more updates. Thanks to my producer, Babatunde Akinyemi, and studio engineer, Oye Shala Ola. The executive producer is Tayo Akunle. I'm Adi Ola. Akindele, next week is another date. Stay blessed and stay safe.